let's have some beer. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a can of Muskoka Brewery's Harvest Ale 2018 version, coming in at 6.7% ABV. You guys are in Bracebridge, Ontario. It's another beer that I think I've had before, but I think is a little different than last year's. I think. I'm pretty sure. So, you know, we'll kind of figure things out and stuff and things. Harvest Ale. Kind of maybe a little, a little bit along the lines of the pumpkin ale that I had yesterday. A little bit. Kind of spices and stuff going on. I don't really know what to expect from this. Let's crack her open. And let us see what we've got. Uh, for some reason, I guess the color of the can made me think that the beer might have been a bit darker. This is actually quite light, though. Nice little, nice, decent, don't even think about it. Okay, thumbnail. Definitely some haze going on. Like, quite a bit of haze with the addition of some chill haze. And uh, a couple fingers of really thick, bubbly, nice-looking, slightly off-white head. It's actually got, this kind of a, I can't really describe it, it's kind of a really decent beer smell to it. Like it almost smells, I don't know, kind of like a macro or something. It doesn't smell bad, it just, I'm not getting any kind of spiciness that I thought I might have got. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Okay. Wow. There's almost like a Belgian yeastiness to it. Almost, but not quite. Like the spices maybe or something going on. It's not bad, but I'm not really a big fan. Maybe that will change as we get into this bitch. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's like a, a, kind of a bit of an unusual bitterness to it. I, I don't know about this one. Muskoka's Harvest Ale. Muskoka Harvest Ale was our brewery's pioneering venture into our limited into our limited run beers. Dry hopped and brewed using hand selected Ontario ingredients, this ale has a rich malt backbone and a subtle grassy character reminiscent of the freshly cut harvest. It's our way of celebrating another prosperous growing season. Okay, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. So there's no spices or anything going in here. That's really weird. I think maybe the whatever hops they use to dry hop this aren't really working for me. And then we have a freshest by December 17th, which I'm pretty sure somebody from there told me that they do four months on their cans. So this was basically packaged. Uh, that'd be August. 17 so you know barely a month old completely fine. I still don't understand why you can't put the brood on date on there like That's just doesn't make any sense to me at all Muskoka brewery dot ca pretty sure dot ca right? Nope.com. I never get those right. Ever. We'll bring you to MuskokaBrewery.com. Really, really nice brewery. I believe they've done some renovations since last time I was there, so I need to go back, but... Yeah. They make... They make some decent beer. This one here, I'm going to say, is not really one of my favorites by them. I like their Cream Ale, even their Craft Lager, Detour, their IPA, uh, Mad Tom, twice as Mad Tom... Was it the bearded, whatever the hell, the cranberry winter one, winter beard? I think you make a lot of good beers. This one, I want to say this one, and maybe that legendary oddity. Two that come to mind from you guys that I just didn't really enjoy. I don't hate it again. I've had worse. Excuse me. 
I just don't know. Something, something about the bitterness, the hop presence in there. Maybe it's the grassiness. Maybe I haven't experienced a lot of grassy flavors in beer and I'm not a fan, perhaps. I just don't know. Um, again, this are ratings, why the hell not? Let's see what other people think of this. Untapped has 5,501 ratings, so I'm pretty sure they're using the conglomeration of like last year's, this year's, although even if you brew it the same, because you're not brewing it constantly, I feel like there's, you know, still possibly subtle changes and stuff, which is why I'm okay with kind of reviewing this one two years in a row. Uh, 3.366 out of 3.66 out of 5 with six with 5,501 ratings. Apparently I can't read. 50 IBUs. I believe that. 3.95 out of 5. With your advocate with 172 ratings overall. Kind of a weird picture of what they're, I'm assuming the bottle originally looked like. It was in a bottle, it was a pop top. It's weird. And then we have it over on Rate Beer, pictured with a cork. Uh, 3.55 out of 598 ratings, so it's probably higher than that because Rate Beer's an idiot. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to, you know, slowly get through this and, you know, come back for the, the end of it and stuff. It's okay. I don't know. Like, I, I will not be buying another can. I don't recall if I liked it more or less than last year's Artist Ale. I probably should have looked into that during the break, but I sat down and remembered that a new episode of Venture Brothers is online, and holy crap, this season has been one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. If you don't watch the Venture Brothers, you need to fix that. It's so good. So good. So much better than his beer. Just something about that, I guess the grassy, hoppy presence in this beer, whatever they use to dry hop it. I don't like that. So, drink number is the last. Muskoka Brewery. It's your 2018 version of your Harvest Ale rating. Ah, I'm going 4.5. I would have given it a five, but there's no brood on date. And that's something that I, you know, I can't give you a pass for that. It's one of my stupid personal rules that, you know, somebody hate, but I don't care. <laughs> have you had this year's Harvest Ale? Tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below. Because that is going to do it for today's beer review. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got this far, smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Smack the subscribe button and the bell notification if you want to see more and you want to be made aware when I go live. And if... Yeah, and I almost did the... Revert to the old, old, old outro again. Wow. God damn it. I'll be back. Another one of these. Probably tomorrow. Uh, peace out. just did like a fucking snorty thing when I inhaled there. I was like, peace out. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? God damn it. Thank you so much. Blah, 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 blah. percent ABV. Muskoka themselves at a Bracebridge, Ontario. Really one of the... Great timing.